Hi guys, this is Mario from Dual Core Studio and today we will learn how to make a health system for our player using properties. So let's create new C sharp script. Let's call it stats and open it. First thing we want to delete mono behavior. Mono behavior is used when we want to add our script to some object. For instance, uh, our script player controls has mono behavior and we added player controls to our object, in this case player. Now if we save this without mono behavior and uh, try to add st states to our player, it can be done because we don't have mono behavior. And this is what we need. It's okay. Uh, then we want to delete this. And as I said, we'll, we will use properties. So we need a private variable, health. And we need public variable, health. And also we need braces here. And this is our property. Properties uh, can have uh, two accessors. One is get accessor. And second one is set accessor. If we want to make this property uh, read only, we will use just get accessor. If we want to make our property just write only, we will use just set accessor without get. So, uh, for example, if we want to um, check our player health, uh, we need to read uh, this property health, so we will need get accessor. And if we want to change uh, our health, uh, for example, if uh, something does damage to us or we pick up some potion that will heal us, then we need to set our property, our health. We need to write something and uh, uh, this is why we use uh, set accessor. We need to change health. So in get accessor we want to read or or return return our uh, health and this is a private variable health and in set um, uh, accessor we want to set health also equals value so this is this uh, will work just fine, but we want our health to um, to have a minimum and maximum value. So we will change this to mathf.clamp. We will clamp our value. between minimal and maximal uh, maximum value uh, minimum will be zero and uh, max value will be max hp uh, we will create a public int max hp so you, it's public, so you can change it uh, later in the game. Here we need uh, one more thing, uh, public function, public void uh, set, set health. So this function will be used to uh, set our health to maximum HP at the beginning of the game. So our 
health equals max x hp okay now let's go back to unity and uh, create new c sharp script let's call it play player script we will add this script to our player and open it here in this um, in this uh, script we want to create uh, instance of this class so we will use stats let's call it player stats equals new stats here we created instance of uh, this class and now mm, if we uh, go to unity click play and we we can we can't see these stats uh, this is because we need to do just one more thing here we want uh, our class to be system system serializable okay and now you see if i click play and choose debug mode i forgot that uh, uh, earlier but uh, mm, still you wouldn't see this you wouldn't see player stats that we created in our player script and as you can see our health is zero and max hp is also zero but uh, uh, now we will call this function uh, in this script and we will do this in start function so um, we will use player stats dot set health fun set health function okay and uh, we will set this to default value of 5 let's say okay now if we save all of this and go to um, unity and click play see our max hp is 5 and at the start we set our health to five so um, uh, always use properties when you can uh, because uh, properties are very very useful for example here you can have some other lines of code that you want to do some code and uh, also here if you want to do something and also we can make uh, another player and create new instance of our stats so we don't need to do something twice or or like that uh, this is all for today next time we will uh, make damage system and some more things if you like uh, this video praise uh, share it and subscribe and see you next week.